What's up guys, this is Hawkeye at 7 RCT bringing you another video and today with that introduction there with the music and stuff bring you Mega Man Legacy Collection 1 and 2 for the Switch yes, for the Switch coming back to Nintendo platforms at last and all I can say for now is about fucking time but anyways the thing is, we're going to be going into the showcase in full swing because I have been waiting for this for quite some time, uh, ever since uh, NX was just a, a, a little rumor, nasty rumor that was going here and there. I always been wanting to have on Nintendo platform for the longest time a Mega Man title. And having a collection, not only one but two, super awesome. Now, before I get into the good stuff of this, I'm bring the music down here. There you go. That was uh, docking, by the way. And yeah, I'm super stoked. Not only because um, we get to play Mega Man now, we get to have the collection with all these. Uh, museum stuff and nice artwork and all the work and, 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 and pain and sweat that went into these games and a nice little collection which I know have been before on other platforms I'm just celebrating the fact that it's on switch and it's on the go at the same time so yeah um, let me just get one annoying thing out of the way and you know that guys that I'm gonna be going there even though I did touch upon it on the uh, last unfiltered if you haven't seen it please go back and watch that um, before you enjoy this video you need to enjoy the other one first um, where I go out uh, all out on Capcom but you'll see why um, anyways the point is we get legacy collection the smallest of the bunch the 8-bit titles on the, on the physical version of the cart and the bigger or the larger file size title we have to download now this wouldn't be annoying because in any other case because the, the the file size is actually smallish you know compared to some other out there um because that mega man one is just around three gigs i think let me see This is one of my SD cards. Now, as you can see, I mean, look at Bayonetta, 8.5, 7.1, and this one is just 3.2. So it's not really that bad in terms of how much you have to download. What makes it a piss poor decision is the fact that this, both titles, would have fit uh, a regular size, uh, the minimum, you know size card and you wouldn't have to do this so it's kind of like yeah dick move Capcom that's all I gotta say dick move but let's go into the first one let's go into the first one this is after all Mega Man and there is much to love I mean when you think about it the point of me making this video is pointless because if you like Mega Man you already have the game and if you don't you're gonna get it soon but 
I don't care. I'm having fun just showing it off for you guys, so I'm gonna do it anyways. So, as you can see, you have a ton of options right off the bat. You got the games, challenges, music player for those who love that kind of stuff. Options and scan amiibo. I don't have any amiibo, so I don't get to. But I have my name at the bottom, personalized. Hot Eye 7, oh yeah. So here we go. The titles included. Mega Man. Mega Man 2. Mega Man 3, Mega Man 4, Mega Man 5, and Mega Man 6. Now one of the most infamous ones is Mega Man 2. Now from here you have the option to play the game of course. But also, uh, that awesome chip tune music. You have a rewind function, which I'm going to show in a bit. Okay, now what was the button? That's the, that's the rewind, okay. I'm looking for... No. I'm trying to look for... Supposed to have a button assigned for the menu and stuff, right? There you go. Uh, dummy me. It's just uh, okay. It's uh, the minus sign. You go and you do a whole bunch of stuff like customize the plane space that you're gonna have. If you want it wide, stretched out, or full. If you want borders or not, like having nice little wallpapers, let's put on there. Filters. TV filter to make it emulate a, a TV or a monitor. And leave it off. Uh, CPU speed turbo original. I'm going to leave it in original because I've heard that there's some issues with the turbo CPU setting. Making it sluggish. I don't know. I, have, I can't confirm it as of yet. Um, button configuration and stuff like that and then you return to the game. Now, let's go into full screen. Now it's nice to have nice to have the, the borders and stuff but I'm not really I'm not really used to that and I'm dead I'm not really used to that oh wait I didn't show um, the rewind function uh, you can rewind back and try it again which is a nifty little feature for us old timers that are don't have our timing just right okay now that is there ready to torture me to no end but it's okay because that's part of the appeal of Mega Man it's a difficulty but 
Let's go to the main menu again. The cool thing about this, aside from the game, the option that you have to rewind and you know, kind of to make it through if you're if you easily get frustrated and, and kind of rage quit. Uh, I don't have that problem, even though I may seem like I'm sucking on the on the video and not doing well. I just keep because it's a matter of timing and stuff, and it's part of the fun. You know, you need to fail in the beginning and just keep going at it because Mega Man is all about the timing and precise platforming. But the cool thing about this is, of course, you get all of these nice details like on the museum you get the cards and you get the, like for collectors out there or people who just appreciate what goes into these these things you know these articles from way back and this is the Famicom card right here you got the box art when I bought this well when I got this for the first time this is what I got and at the time I thought that was cool I thought that was like cool art I did not realize how bad it was compared to the original, you know, that was this right here. Look how cool that looks. And we got that crappy. But you can get to appreciate and see things like this with all the other uh, games as well. Those Famicom cards are freaking amazing, man. Different colors and stuff, and the art is just so much. Everything from the... Remember when they used to be manuals? Color manuals? In your games? Instruction booklets? Wow, right? Seems like such a long time. But anyways... That was a cover for Mega Man 6. Yep. Brings back a whole bunch of really great memories. But of course, this is the first part of the collection, of course. I'm not gonna go into gameplay. Because I mean, come on, it's it's Mega Man. It's it's Mega Man. And if you're here watching this video, by any chance, if you're just taking a quick glance at this video, it means that you already have played one, if not several, or all of these titles at some point in time. So you know what the gameplay looks like. You know how, how important it is to the gaming industry. So, yeah. Let's get out of here. And let's quickly bring up... Number two, and what does number two have in store for us? Now this one goes a little different, as you can tell by the user interface, because the games they start off from the SNES and moves on to the PlayStation 1 in terms of timeline and platform that they were developed on. And here we have the incredible and my favorite number, Mega Man 7. We got 8, 9, and 10. Now 9 and 10, it's back to the drawing board because it's back to the... These are the most recent of the Mega Man games that came out 10 shortly after 9 and these were brought back to the 8-bit style um, I haven't played them um, you know extensively myself I haven't completed them so having them on the switch I get the chance to do it you know on my own time and stuff so it's gonna be great Mega Man 7 of course is on the SNES see what they have on the options here the same that I showed but let's see if they have hmm. 
There it is. Keep forgetting which is the button. But apparently you don't have. Let me take the background. It was a little distracting having the background there. And let's return to title screen. Yep, there's the first one done on the Super Nintendo. seem to have the museum stuff that the first one has, but it's okay, at least we got the games. And of course, now this one I would like to have a filter on, thank you very much. And this is the one that came out for PlayStation 1 at the time with the nice little intro cinematic. plenty of Mega Man to go around here. This title for the first time on the SNES. Oh my god. Oh. Like, seeing this title make the transition from 8 to 16 bit was amazing just like it was for other franchises on the Capcom uh, staple of franchises just like um, Ghosts and Goblins with Super Ghouls and Ghosts amazing amazing Classic music, always pumping you up. Einstein twin. And here we go. Ah, 
got my energy back. Damn, I thought I could kill, kill it with a slide. What the? Was talking about is the return to form. I see what kind of settings. Okay. Legacy mode on. What's this? Let's see what on and see what happens. Let's try. Flash woman. Ooh. Siren type. such I kind of like them better than that that shadow version oh the freaking spikes of death why why and just like the classic form it's one try or die. Oh boy. 
boy. Ah! Come on, I can use some energy here. Thank you. guys that is gonna be all for now at least I covered and showcased for you guys the awesomeness that is the Mega Man Legacy Collection 1 and 2 I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please please like and subscribe um, if possible share it really helps me out to get out there you know a uh, small youtuber and all and yeah, stay tuned because after this, uh, Capcom games are not going away anytime soon. Let's hope that is the case because next time you're going to be seeing me rocking two games, hopefully. Two games that are going to be amazing in itself. One is the uh, 30th anniversary, which is coming up soon. And the other one, of course, the coverage of Ikaruga. The legendary shoot 'em up on the Switch is now on the Switch, better than ever. So I'll see you guys then. Have a great weekend. Peace.